Drinking Beer Day at Miami University, you know, a day of drinking from the crack of dawn, is one of the favorites for students and, at least this year, one of the most feared by authorities. There has been an uptick in excessive drinking incidents at Miami this year, therefore an uptick in scrutiny. Nine on your side's Ashley Zilka went to Oxford for what turned out to be a surprising day. We have seen police cars up and down High Street, officers keeping a close eye on students. Earlier today, I spoke with both the Oxford Fire Chief and Police Chief. They say the turnout for Green Beer Day wasn't as big as usual, which may have helped their departments. I'm proud of Miami today, to be honest with you. I'm happy with how it's all been handled. The message is clear. A marathon day of drinking for students ends quietly in Oxford. We haven't drank this morning, have you? A large undertaking for Oxford police with the assistance of the Ohio State Patrol. We have plainclothes detectives working in some of the carryouts. Um, uh, seven arrests were made over the last two days, uh, just for a few hours in the evening um, for underage and fake IDs. Authorities kept a close watch on excessive drinking. Fire Chief John Dethridge says 2017 has been busy. Last month, alcohol was to blame for sending nearly two dozen Miami University students to the emergency room in one weekend. I'm not sure what's causing it, if it's just more students or if uh, it's just poor, more poor decisions. In January, reports show a freshman student died in her dorm room from excessive drinking. It taxed us. Uh, we only staff with four or five people at a time and we were making calls. Uh, we were making like 20 in three hours. and. Uh, it was very busy. But both the Oxford Fire Chief and Police Chief say Green Beer Day 2017 is a promising sign. Some of the things the university put in place seem to help and deter some of the uh, heavy drinking. Students, I think, uh, are taking this seriously and uh, they've been behaving and, and being fairly responsible and respectable. Um, so that's that's a positive light. There have been a number of citations for underage drinking, but final numbers won't be released until tomorrow morning. Reporting in Oxford, Ashley Zilka, nine on your side.